Hi everyone, uh, this is Martin Wong here from TradersTruthReview.com. What I want to show you today is how to add the moving average to your meta stock charts. Now, assuming that you have opened uh, a chart in your meta stock, in this case, I've opened Public Bank. What you want to do is to move your mouse to the top upside and look for the moving average which is MA. Now moving average start with the alphabet of M so it should be located at the mid part of the drop down box here. So you move it, move it right in the mid part okay and there you go and that's M here and then whenever you move now notice right this is an arrow when you move over to the moving average you notice that the icon the mouse icon has turned to a handheld right that's the way you do it. Now what you want to do is to drop Okay, and see that it is still uh, showing a uh, uh, arrow cursor. Now, what you want to do is make sure this arrow cursor turn to a hand cursor. Now, all you gotta do just move it to the right, and there you go. You can see the uh, hand cursor in here. What you want to do just drop down, drag it, right? Drag it and drop it. When you see, you notice that when you drop, okay, when it's highlighted, when the chart is highlighted, in this case, the candlestick. Uh, bar is highlighted, it actually turned to a pink color. Okay, pink color. And when it does, just drop it. And what you want to do is perhaps set the first one to a, a 50 day moving average. That's a time period of 50. Keep the rest of the uh, parameters as default. In this case, as you can see, zero for the shift and simple and close and click. Okay, and there you go. You have a moving average for the public bank and now if you wish to change the color you can highlight it when you click on that okay here when you highlight it you notice there's actually a square 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 la squares indicator on this line and go right to the bottom left and you can change the color to a blue and you can change the thickness to a blue all right that's all i want to show you about how to put the moving average into the meta stock chart now thank you for listening i'll see you next time